know I am the author of the C.C. Gallagher Thriller series, which is uh, about a female protagonist. My first novel, Devil's Closet, and subsequently Mary Jane's Grave were featured on the Nancy Grace Show, which I am a regular contributor. Um, most of my books are somewhat based on actual cases I investigated. I am an award-winning 18-year law enforcement officer. I'm an author and a media consultant, and I'm a former detective specializing in sex crimes. I retired early in 2008 from the Richland County Sheriff's Office in Mansfield, Ohio to focus on my writing and media commitments. I'm still sworn as a special deputy there. Basically, I grew up in a family stock with police officers. My father and three uncles began their careers in 1969 with the Mansfield Police Department after they returned home from Vietnam. So actually, I was really fascinated with law enforcement at an early age. Um, I would frequently accompany my father to work and I began investigating my own crimes at age eight after reading, <laughs> sneaking the book of the serial killer Ted Bundy. Um, so armed with a hand-me-down kit of fingerprint powder and handcuffs, uh, I would scour my neighborhood um, in search of the ultimate crime scene, usually performing <coughs> autopsies on poor unsuspecting insects. By the time I graduated high school, I had been on the scenes of more real crimes than most police rookies, as I did participate uh, in the ride along program with my father. So basically, I've given my expert professional opinion on cases ranging from John Benet Ramsey and Kaylee Anthony, I'm sure are familiar names to you, uh, to the Manson family and Natalie Holloway. And I've spoken on topics ranging from uh, the American Mafia to Islamic honor, honor killings and pretty much everything in between. I am a huge advocate that there should be a disclaimer at the beginning of these shows that say, just so you know, it doesn't happen like this in real life. <laughs> the prosecutor literally, literally now has to say it in the courtroom during her opening statements, if you watch CSI, get it out of your head. This is the CSI. That's what we've come to with these shows. The Kaylee Anthony case, uh, I don't think there's much to it. I, fairly 100% certain that she did it. Uh, I ultimately expect to see her at the 12th hour take a plea deal to avoid the death penalty. I will be very shocked if that goes to trial, considering the evidence that they have against her. Right. The Charles Lindbergh case, people are still fascinated with Lindbergh baby kidnapping um, because of the controversy around it. And I think John Benet Ramsey, 50 years from now, people will still be talking about that case, and it's very unfortunate because this little girl lost her life and no one has ultimately had to pay for that and I think that's very sad. That's very sad. There were a lot of problems in the investigation early um, once the body was found. A lot of mistakes were done by law enforcement. Um, mistakes that uh, were completely uncalled for. And I think that set the tone for the rest of the investigation. Some of the things that I have seen at certain um, crime scenes that I feel is extremely important um, that hadn't been done is a crime scene law, which someone literally logs down every person in and out of there, and that really comes into play. Uh, you might find a footprint here. Well, is that one of the officers, or is that the suspects? Well, well, we need to check your crime scene law to see who all was in there. As far as preserving the evidence, you know you're signing off. When I would bag evidence, I'd sign my name and hand it to the next person. And who I signed it off to. And that way, when it comes to the trial or any type of uh, resolution in the case, when they look at the evidence, they can see what happened to that evidence from the time it was left all the way through the time it went to the evidence locker or subsequently tested. And when they can, you know, where there's no mistakes made, that is what makes for the airtight cases. Oh, it's real exciting because this is the real thing. Uh, most of the folks who join us uh, are enthusiasts when it comes to CSI mystery books and novels and just everything about law enforcement and what's all involved. And so this is wonderful to have an actual author join us like we have this evening or people who can add to the book and add to the history and, and education aspect of the, the novels. It's wonderful telling my husband about the story, and I said, oh my gosh, that would make a really great book. And he's like, well, you should write it. And I'm like, what do I know about writing? You know, come on. Um, kind of bannered around in my head for about six months. And just kind of, 
you know, kind of antsy one day, anxious, like, I'm bored, what do I do? Sat down at my computer and started playing around with characters and characters' names and came up with these characters and uh, wrote the first five pages of the very first C.C. Gallagher book, which is actually called Murder Mountain. Um, it's not out yet. They're going to, um, hopefully, put it out down the road as the prequel. What is your One lone wolf. It happens to be the Body Mafia. Um, I had a great time uh, researching the history of your fine town here when I read <laughs> this. Um, I just was fascinated. Um, my uh, other part of my family is in Cleveland. They're Irish, um, so we had stories of um, they knew Danny Green. I was going to say the Irish Canada. prop, Danny Green. Um, but they knew Danny, and um, so we. Uh, one of my mother's friends, um, her father was killed by Danny Green back in the 70s. And, I like um, knowing that the bad guys get caught. <laughs> you can get that in, in, in fiction, but I like, I like knowing in true crime they get caught okay. and they get sentenced. <laughs> you know, being the fiction, I, I, I like to, imp I don't necessarily want to separate it. I want to put it in there because that's what makes that a little more realistic than Say this author and just a smidge more realistic than this author and and that's what I think separates the books from the other police procedurals that are written by people that were not necessarily involved in law enforcement. Send me your ideas because mm -hmm. I would like to know what people's opinion of what they see yeah. her as. That would be great. Thank you all. It's been